Episode 243, What It Means to Work on Yourself. You're listening to the very best podcast in the world on health, wealth, and happiness. Please remember to leave a review and share with all your friends and family. And here is your host, Lars Hilson. And it is hump day, finally, at the very best podcast in the world, your only source in the universe for personal supremacy through health, wealth, and happiness. And hopefully it is not only hump day here, but but everywhere in this consistent time zone. Uh, today's episode is uh, a bit philosophical, uh, and I found this uh, quote, which could have been by any BS spiritual teacher and could have been taken from pretty much anyone, because it's a question that, you know, you have to think about a lot, right? Uh, what does it mean to work on yourself? Well, there's a... Uh, a more philosophical answer than the question is philosophical, which we will get to right in a moment. Uh, but before that, we have housekeeping. So item number one, as always, prioritized to, uh, you know, the most important thing is that sharing is caring. That's what this podcast is about. Uh, it's a purely altruistic endeavor by me uh, sharing the stuff that I went through so you don't have to. Well, the positive stuff you should, <laughs> and you know, getting into happiness. But you know, there are a lot of pitfalls in life which you can just simply avoid, which I'm going to try and share in this podcast. So, um, the reason I am so insistent upon you sharing the content through your social media channels and feeds and whatnot they're all called is that a few weeks back, uh, I got uh, got an email from a new listener who. Uh, you know, significantly changed their life based upon what they heard on this podcast. And they heard about this podcast by mere coincidence. That's why, you know, I think it is so important that you share this stuff, you know, throughout the world. And uh, uh, because there's tons of people out there who need help and who would otherwise fall victim probably sooner or later to the wallet rapists. Uh, and that's what we don't do here. Item number two, as always, uh, uh, I was just about to say sharing is caring, but we already got that. Views are my own and uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and they don't necessarily reflect blah, blah, blah. And uh, item number three, we're still in remodeling mode, meaning that I am on a construction site a significant part of the day. Uh, and uh, it's fun, <laughs> but the weather is shitty, <laughs> and so is the pay. Uh, but uh, that being said, um, I think we have the housekeeping bit covered for now. Now, um, back to the episode. Uh, what it means to work on yourself. And the answer to that question in that case and on that meme and pretty much any way a spiritual teacher would get you to think about yourself and reflect and contemplate is that they will say, well, it means to stop thinking that others should change. And while this is uh, very cryptic <laughs> and uh, yet simple, you know, that's what these people like. Uh, here's a reality check about that quote, right? So, you, when you work on yourself, the core objective should be that uh, you get to a point where you stop to think that others should change, which is what a lot of us think, right? Our primary thought focuses around making it simple for ourselves, and that is so justifiable, right? <laughs> because, you know, at the end, we're all French, or in the end, we're all French, we're all lazy. And so we expect to, uh, for other people to change, and we try and manipulate the system that we're in, we try to uh, enforce our views and doctrines on the system, uh, you know, the system being the people and everything around us, uh, you know, and that kind of ordeal. Think of monarchies or democracies. You know, the most bizarre thing about a democracy where everything is supposed to be free is that you are not allowed by law to start to try and change the democracy, 
right? You're not allowed to sprinkle a bit of anarchy in here uh, or in, in there. You're not allowed to uh, sprinkle a bit of alternative state systems in there. Uh, the democracy protects itself by law. And that's kind of ironic though, right? <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it's about you have to uh, change yourself most of all, and expect less of other people to change to live in this system. But what if you are <laughs> an anarchist or you have an anarchist mindset, right? Um, that would be pretty cool to think, uh, you know, to have somewhere where uh, anarchy actually works, right? You know, just as an idea. Um, but really, it's a lot, a lot more microscopic rather than macroscopic on a state or global system. It's about when you engage with someone in whatever type of relationship, you're going to have an expectation. And naturally, you're going to try, be it in your career or at home or wherever, uh, to manipulate the people around you into doing what you want and how you want it done. Now, you can raise your hands and say, oh my God, that is so devious and I would never do that. You do every single day, probably more subconsciously, but you're going to test out things. And if patterns work, you're going to repeat them. It just, it's just a matter of fact. It always happens again. So that being said, um, you have to become aware. And there we are back at the awareness bit, which we have repeatedly spoken about. It's uh, how do you increase awareness? And we've been through, you know, quite a few episodes where we covered that. So go back to those. Uh, but uh, how do you then figure out that you are actively manipulating someone? Well, let's go into your personal relationships when you have, you know, small altercations with someone or disagreements. Rather, you know, it starts there, right? You try to make your point that your worldview is better than that of the other, especially now in this polarized world where, you know, normally you have uh, a whole rainbow of uh, thoughts and anti-thoughts and arguments and counter-arguments. But right here, right now in this time, it's broken down to two narratives, right? It's the vaxxers and the anti-vaxxers. It's the Trumpers and the Democrats. It's, uh, you know, this, that, and the other. And you've got the North Pole and you've got the South Pole. And you've got these extremes clashing at each other with no sense for making peace, for making ends meet, for meeting in the middle for consensus. That just doesn't happen anymore. Now, if in case you're asking yourself the question, well, how come that, right? There were two uh, things that happened in 2016 where nobody would have thought about. Number one, the Brexit. Number two, Trump got elected president, right? Nobody thought of that. You went to bed, you said, well, karma is going to figure that out. Well, it didn't. And there's a great, great, great documentary on Netflix called The Great Hack, which I can only recommend where you will have this question answered on how the world could be so, I don't know, stupid, insane, whatever. It's about really the large scale manipulation. And I think based not only here on that, we need to stop with that. We need to stop to manipulate people uh, or attempt to do so to uh, be at our bidding. And that is really the answer to this question. It is us as the listeners that have to have the common sense to find a common ground with the people around us and to settle all of these inflamed people uh, to extinguish their fire and to get them to the table and say, look, we're going to have to find a common ground. We're going to have to find a consensus. We're going to have to find a solution. And I think that's what this episode is about more than anything else. So I hope I was able to bring that point across how I interpreted that. Uh, there weren't any lessons from my life, even though there were plenty that I could have included in here, but that would have brought us above the 10 minutes, which today we're not going to do. So in that sense, have a nice rest of your Wednesday. If you are, have, have, well, if you have already had your Wednesday, have a good night. Leave your hands above the blanket. Stay safe. We're going to be touch, in touch tomorrow, folks. See you soon. Bye-bye.